day 30 something finds us about three days from hot springs north carolina <clears throat> that's if we hike a couple 13 mile days after today got a little later start today so i think we're going to do about nine or ten <clears throat> and then 213 should bring us into hot springs we got a box coming there for the resupply for some food terrain's a little different today i don't think we're going to see any snow or ice i could be wrong but it'll be the first time in a while walking along a creek over there probably hear it uh looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day should be in the 40s maybe near 45 and i'll probably get down about 25 tonight but we're getting kind of used to that had a lot of snow runoff and it makes the creeks a little high can make some of the stream crossings uh challenging water's really flowing through here it's kind of pretty oh it looks like a pretty easy route though lots of rocks to walk across you can see the water coming down it's really coming down there. And then they got, this one's gonna be fairly easy today. Some of them aren't this uh, easy. It's kind of go across on the big rocks. I think even Blue's got this one. Well, the trail's been pretty rough, so me and Blue decided we might just hike the highway to Maine. Be a lot easier. Nah, just one of the many road crossings you come upon across on the AT. I remember this one from a section hike, Interstate 40. A lot of times after a road crossing, they gotta take you back up in the mountains or back up in the woods. And sometimes you'll have a staircase. This one's kind of unique. We just passed that sign back there for Knoxville, Tennessee. I had a buddy, good friend of mine from when we were growing up named Dennis Salisley and him and his brother Steve and a few other kids from the neighborhood really kind of developed my uh, fondness for the outdoors and camping we camped out a lot by a lake special memories from those days kind of takes me back to those days when I'm up here in the woods and mountains and making fires because there I lived in the inner city before that and they really introduced me to life in the woods basically this is a rough staircase. You don't lean forward on it because your backpack will tend to pull you backwards.
I said today might be the first day we don't see snow since about Georgia. Wrong again. We just can't shake the snow. No matter what day it is. What state it is. <laughs> it's not too bad today. But yeah, there is snow. We're on top of Snowbird Mountain. And this is a... Uh, some kind of aviation station. I remember the sign, they're pretty serious about not going past that fence. Go up there and see what it says. There was a pretty stern warning. This facility is used in FAA air traffic control loss of human life. No. This facility is used in FAA air traffic control. Loss of human life may result from service interruption. Any person who interferes with air traffic control or damages or trespasses on this property will be prosecuted under federal law. I remember a good view from behind it. We'll go check that out. Well, it looks like this is home for the night. It's got the Groundhog Creek Shelter. Groundhog Shelter. Not one of my favorite shelters. I remember this from our section hikes. Very plain. You can see the back wall is concrete. We like to tuck in by a corner. We're out of the Smokies, so the tarps are gone, so the wind kind of blows in. But, yeah, this is our gear explosion, but nobody else is here yet, so it really don't matter. But it'll be picked up before we go to bed. It'll be picked up. If anybody shows up late like they did on us the other night, we're all set. I got to show you this privy, though. It's the smallest privy that I ever remember seeing on the Appalachian Trail. They marked the trails pretty good to go to the privy and go to the bear box and go to the water source. So you pretty much know where you're headed. But this privy, uh, a little to be desired. <laughs> uh, how big is that? Oh, a little latch on it. That's the privy. That's where you do your business. Very small. It's got a roof on it though. The other day one didn't and got a sleet coming down on you while you're trying to take a poop. <laughs> 